Sometimes I feel like I have a permanent case of the Mondays. I wish that just once something interesting would happen around here, but it never does. Duh. My life is about as bland as it gets. I'm a programmer here at Edgecom, a company whose products have nothing to do with either communication or edges. Actually, I don't have the slightest idea what we make anymore. I stopped paying attention to that a long time ago. All I do is look at numbers and update code all day. I know exactly what today is going to be like. Brandy, the secretary, will yell at me for being late or tell me why I should be fired, and then I'll go sit in my tiny cubicle over by Todd, where I'll have to listen to him complain all day. He's a jerk, but he's the only real friend that I have around here. And then there's my boss, Mr. Joshi, who treats us more like slaves than employees. I get through the day mostly by reading comic books and staring off into space. I really only do about 15 minutes of work a day. My favorite comic book character is the Mongoose. He's one of those super spy types that has all the cool gadgets. Lately I've been daydreaming about being the mongoose more and more often. I even find myself sneaking around sometimes. I worry that people are beginning to notice. I've been getting some pretty weird looks lately. You're late, Doug, and you left your ID card here again. That's what you said last time. Here's your card. Oh, Todd was looking for you. In case you forgot, his cubicle is straight down the hallway, right by the kitchen. See you later, slacker. What's up, buddy? You sleep through your alarm again? I was gonna see if you wanted to get some food over at Shenanigans, but lunch ended over an hour ago, so never mind. As I see it, we have two options. Either we go on a coffee break, or we get to work. What do you think? Tell you what, I really need to read this email, so if you could just grab me a cup of coffee while you're in the kitchen, that would be great. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, Doug. Ugh, this tastes awful. Where did you learn to make coffee? Go do work or something. I'll talk to you later. What's up, Doug? Lost again? Sure, hang on. 
Wow, this is strange. You can't read it because it's encrypted. Those jerks upstairs must think this email is really important. We need to figure out what's on it. Well, I can't do it, but codes are a hobby of dicks. You should take it to him. Maybe he can crack it for you. If you came to work a little more often, you might actually learn everyone's name. You know Dick. He's the creepy guy that nobody wants to talk to. Yeah. Plus he keeps trying to steal my stapler. That's Dick. Go talk to him. What? What? What do you want, Doug? Yes, 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 I could take a look at it, but you'd have to do something for me. I need my staplers. There are three colors, and I want one. One, one of each. I had them all, but Brandy complained. And then Todd came, and he... He took my staplers. They stole my staplers. I want them back. All three. Three. Three of them. I need all three staplers, Doug. Three, 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 and no duplicate. I want one of each color or no decoder. Hey, I got one. Only two more to go. That's two. Just one more. Found all three. Time to go see Dick again. You got my staplers. All three. Three, three of them. Thank you, Doug. Check your email. I sent you a program to decode it. Whoa, this is bad. Whatever it is, it sounds like they're going to use it to get us all fired. We need to talk to Mr. Joshi. Yes. Can I help you? Have a nice day. Yes. Can I help you? Oh my. This does sound bad. The upstairs group has had it in for me. I mean us. For a very long time. We need to deal with this. Yes, we. Oh, meaning you, Doug. Need to go deal with this. I want you to sneak into the upstairs office, find the incriminating files, and delete them. Will you do this for me, Doug? 
What are you still doing here? Get out and don't come back until you have infiltrated the upstairs office. Wow, this does sound dangerous. What am I going to do if I get caught? It's too bad I can't just throw some smoke bombs and disappear like the mongoose would. I should go find Todd again. Maybe he can help me. Okay, here's my thumb drive. It's got a virus on it that I created specifically to destroy the files on the upstairs computer. You understand me so far? They're not just going to let you walk right in, you know. You need a way to get past their security. Hmm. I don't see any way of forging an ID card, so you just have to hotwire. Try to find something to pry the cover of the gate open with, like a screwdriver. I think Brandy has one on her desk. Understand? You can't go in dressed as you are. The upstairs office is more casual. If you go in wearing a suit and tie, they'll spot you in no time. What you need are some casual clothes so that you can blend in better. Let's see. I have some sneakers you could use. And I know Peter has some golf pants in his cubicle. But for shirts, you're gonna have to search around the office. Hi, Doug. How are ya? Sorry, Doug. No can do. My tea time is in less than two hours, and I don't want to play in my work clothes. It's hard to imagine how golf pants could save my job, but I'll tell you what. If you can beat me in office golf, you can borrow my pants. Gotta warn you, though, I've never been beaten. I set up a secret course in one of the unused meeting rooms. So do you uh, want to play now or not?
want my sneakers, huh? I'd be lying if I said a part of me doesn't want to see you get caught, so I can't just let you have my sneakers. But maybe there's a way you can earn them. If you can beat me in Trash Ball, I'll give you my sneakers. Sound fair?